What's going on guys? Mean Joe here. Back with another video. Yeah. No, it's not back with another video. What's going on guys? Me and Joey. Sorry, go. I'm gonna have to come a little forward. What's good guys? Me and Joe. Your favorite couple. Back with another video. Alright, so oh, look at us. Hey. Alright y'all, so <laughs> I asked on my, you can't be doing that. Oh, sorry. Um, I went on my Instagram and um, asked y'all to ask us some questions. We got four questions, but I thought it would be fun to like ask ChatGPT to do like a couples quiz. So after we answer these four, we're going to do a couples quiz. Okay. Oh, I didn't know we were doing that. Yeah, that was the surprise. You, you want to answer first or you want me to answer? No, go ahead. So the first question was, how do you guys work through disagreements? So, I really should have thought of my answer. Mm. I think the biggest thing for us is like communication. A lot of the time we have to just, I don't want to say hash it out, but we have to like just talk about it. Because if it lingers, it just is not good for anyone. And like, we do take a while to kind of get on the same page. But at the end of the day, it's just the biggest thing is communication. Like, just talking about it. Even though you don't want to. What's your answer? Pretty much the same thing, honestly. All right, great. You're going to answer the next one first right, then. For sure, for sure. What is the hardest thing about marriage so far? Mm, it's having the same mindset being on the same page that says that's the hardest thing you gotta be on the same page <clears throat> yeah yeah and, and finding out new things about each other you still gonna find out new things about each other even even when you're married that's a good that's a good point yeah. to kind of like elaborate on that um i've learned like in marriage that women and men are just different creatures or being married like when we were just dating even i thought like Oh, we're not that much different. What was the second thing you said? Oh, finding out new things. Yeah, you think you know somebody, um, but it's a lot of stages that we've already been through. We've been together for, we've been together since 2022. Basically, yes, you should, I think I would advise a lot of people to do that before consider marriage. Like, you think you know somebody, but even dive deeper. Like, really, really communicate and talk about because we have we had a lot of things that we didn't know about each other a lot of things still let me tell you and the next one was how has parenting changed your relationship that was one of our lowest points in our relationship was like um newborn oh, yeah. phase or like immediately postpartum i was very <laughs> emotional I, f I constantly felt like my life is changing so rapidly right now and his life wasn't changing that much you know what i mean i mean my life was still changing yeah but, yeah, but not at the rate as bodily effects that yeah, happen or not, stuff like that exactly that wasn't one thing i could say i wasn't prepared for like people are always like oh like it's gonna be hard and this and that but they never like specify like a relationship your relationship struggles after having a baby i think we have to really work on we're really not good with this either like getting one-on-one -on -one time outside of the house um it's just hard because we don't live by family we don't have like a designated babysitter so anywhere we go jace goes with us like alone time has significantly declined since having him and so i think that's something we oh snap my fault <laughs> last one how did y'all meet because we used to always go up to Atlanta um, to go to, um, what's that place? What's that college called? Oh, Kennesaw. Kennesaw. Yeah. To go to parties out there. Because they had a buddy out there. And I hit her up on Instagram. I think it was maybe a month before I even went up there. And let her know I was coming to Atlanta again. Went to party. We were in a hotel. And I was like, oh, I'm going to pull up on her. We have been talking for like, yeah, we were talking two, for like two months, maybe. Not even two months. Like, like a month and a half. Maybe like three weeks. Three weeks? It was not no three weeks. Alright, anyways. I remember, I was there. And then... Well, I was there too. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of the fact, I went to Atlanta. And I was like, oh, I, I'm in Atlanta this time. I'm about to pull up on her. I texted her. She was at Six Flags. She was like, she had some homework to do or something that night or something like that. And then I was like, I let my homies know. I was like, oh, she said she got homework to do. And they were like, you know, like, forget that, like. Bro, you better go ahead and pull up on her, like, tell her to put the homework away. I was like, alright, cool. I hop in my homeboy whip, and, like, I'm on the way to her. I pulled up. I remember I was just, like, 
I booed it. But anyways, I booed it up. Cause so I was like, I was like, man, did I come to the right apartments? Yada yada. You know, and he just he already dropped me off. She was like, she's coming down. She's taking forever, which per usual. I see her, you know, you know, trying to spit my game, put my arm around her. You know, we walk into the, walk into the crib, chatting and talking, and she's like, starting to do her homework. I think she was watching Shrek. No, probably was. Yeah, you was watching Shrek or something like that. Um, my buddies came and picked me up, and then uh. The rest is history. Yeah, the rest is history. Yep, we just started talking from then. I mean, we were already talking, we did FaceTime, but after that, like, I guess we started kind of taking each other seriously. From my perspective, my cousins, I think she has like season tickets or something like that. And so she invited me to go to Six Flags and I invited my girl Amira to come with me. We were at Six Flags all day, so I was already tired. I did actually have um, homework or something due that night or the next day or something. And I usually would try to like finish it the day before if I knew I was gonna be doing something else that weekend. We were at Six Flags and I remember he like texted me and was like, hey, I want to come over. And I was, I did say like, oh, I might have homework, so I don't know if tonight's a good night. And he basically wasn't giving me no for an answer. Like he was like, no, I'm on the way. Or, I think you asked me, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. What? You asked me if like I, I had a friend for your friend. I think you did. And then uh... I showed her, she was like, and I'm good. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I ended up letting, like giving him the address. So he went down to the basement, and I thought he went like to the wrong place. And then we were on Facetime. I'll never forget. And then I finally saw you in person because I was scared you were gonna be short. And then you weren't short, and I was like, oh, thank God. And so <laughs> yeah, we went to my room. We were just chilling, vibing for a while. And then from there, just kind of hit it off. What is my go-to comfort food? Um, ice. A food though. A food? Yeah. But that's your like comfort thing. I know, to but like ice. a comfort food. A comfort food? Like my favorite meal, favorite food. Favorite meal? Wow. That's, I'm gonna say it's a lot. Like, you, you, well, what's my favorite? I'm always asking for this though. You're always Sonic? Baby. <laughs> that's a good that's a good point. But like but you ask for a lot of food. Okay, when we go home, what is my what am I getting if we go home to eat? Zaxby's. Maybe. <laughs> you know this. <laughs> what is my favorite? Like I'm always like, I need some. You need some Oh, you need some seafood. Yes. Okay. I mean, I'm so used to you being here, you ask for like, I know, I know. That, uh, everything he did say I do ask for, but <laughs> that was the what I was looking for. Oh, uh, what's my go to comfort food? Uh, Taco Bell. No. <laughs> Where's my go-to come from? Ribs? I would say that, yes. We go on our first official date. Ready to say it on three. Wait, wait, wait. One, no, two, no, 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 no. Cheesecake flags. Factory. It was not no Six Flags. If you travel anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? New York. How did you know that? I just know you. Girl, you're so fine. <laughs> Anywhere in the world. I'm saying like probably Fiji, but I want to go to New York. Right I now. I plan on going to New York. Yeah. yeah. Who said I love you first? I don't remember that one. I do. I did not say. Yes, first. you did. So don't be I, throwing I, that around. So how many girls you done told you love? It's love the wrong me? place, wrong time to start this, <laughs> this conversation. What was the best gift you've given me? Oof. Our son. Oh, that's a good answer. Mm -hmm. That was my that's answer good. though. Best gift you given me ever. Probably that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Probably <laughs> Probably either that shirt on Christmas or your game on 2K. Yeah, I said the game on 2K. You did yeah, that was that was nice. Who's more likely to win an argument? You would ask that. But do you really win arguments? No. Yeah, right. Right. More likely to spend too much on online shopping. I've gotten uh, way better. Well, before? Before I, I was bad. Sure. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really online shop that much anymore. But that's not to say I won't ever again. Just not right now. What is my favorite movie of all time? Mmm. Met Shrek. I'm tripping. Shrek what? Shrek 2. What is the first thing I noticed about you when we met? Mmm, probably what Ooh, I had yeah. on. What is it? Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, and your hair. What did I have? You had them damn little twists in your hair. Twists? The, the braids. That one. Did I? Yeah, you did. The, like lock looking braids. Oh, too. yeah. Those yeah, were yeah. long. Were they? Like down to your bunkie. Hmm, I don't remember yeah, that. The first thing I noticed about me is noticed height, about yeah. you was your height. Yeah. How are you gonna answer for I've me? I've told us hell. No. Because we, we, you've said it before. Come on. I said I said I was thankful that you were tall. Okay. Er than me. Next question. Um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my if I was an animal, what animal would I be? A horse. Yep. And you'd be a cat. What's, no, what's, I would not be no cat. Armadillo. No. I told you. That's pretty much it though. Man. Right, I appreciate y'all. Thanks. Thanks for coming to our YouTube video. Like and subscribe. And we will be back with more. Bye. Alright, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And leave a comment. Goodbye. See you next time. No, that was so corny. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's what these people watch. They want the. <sighs> okay, oh, guys, thanks for watching. Let me put my glasses off. I forgot. I Let's run this whole thing back. Yeah, you, you're not gonna do another video with me again. <laughs> <laughs>